Welcome back everybody. A while ago on my Instagram, I posted one of those interactive posts on my story where I pretty much ask you guys what kind of videos they want to see for my channel, mostly challenges. And somebody said, spin the wheel to make a beat. I thought that would be a great video idea. So shout out to you for suggesting that if you are watching this. Pretty much I'm just going to have a wheel with a variety of selection of sounds that I can use for a beat. And we're just going to spin it and see what we get to work with. Also, if you guys watched my last video, then you guys know about this platform called Learn On To, which I'm going to be on. Pretty much I'm going to be holding live weekly sessions where I go over hip hop production and loop making. They're just going to be in hour long every week and they're totally community based and interactive so you guys can like ask questions and collaborate with me and in these sessions i'm just going to be teaching you guys about the key components to beat making and loop making like your melodies drums mixing laying out and if you guys feel like you're stuck with your beat making or need help with something just with music in general then i think that these classes are going to be perfect for you so i have a link in the description if you guys want to go check out those sessions but without further ado let's get into the video all right y'all so we have fl studio right here and inside Google Chrome we have our goddamn wheel as you can see we have 808 melody hi-hat perk clap free choice which is good snare kick and then restart which we do not want at any cost we do not want to restart and for the pictures you see we have drizzy I don't know why I was just thinking of a picture that I could use and drizzy came to mind and then we have free choice the thumbs up emoji unfortunately I can't make the free choice and the restart like slimmer chances or at least I was trying to for like two minutes and then I just gave up. So they're all going to be pretty much equal to the chance that I can get one of them. And in total, I'm going to have 10 spins to make a beat. So let's get our channel rack and let's get ready for the first spin. Let's go. First spin. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> We're starting off with the hi-hats. <laughs> Let's just go on 162, which is my favorite BPM, by the way. I guess if I get to choose the hi-hat, I'm just going to choose the basic 808 Mafia hi-hat. Then I'm going to make it a little bit unique. I'm going to add some little rolls here and there. Okay, I like that. It's like a four bar loop. Then we're just going to copy and paste this right here. And now with the hi-hats, what I've been doing recently is I've been doing Alt-R. Then I change the panning just a little bit. Then I change the velocity. Then I just change the mod X. I think those are pretty good hi-hats. I mean, they can fit into multiple genres. Now let's move on to our next spin. We'll keep that in mind, that was our first spin. Second spin is going to be, please don't, please don't, okay. Right. Yeah, let's clap it up, let's clap it up. Our second freaking spin. All right, y'all, so we're going here. We're just cutting our high ass. delete. There goes all of our work. That was our second spin. Now we're moving on to our third spin. <laughs> My God, please not again. <laughs> we can't restart anything because we didn't even do anything. All right, y'all, fourth spin, here we go. I need a blessing from you guys. So please just, if enough of you say right now, Lucent will get a good spin, I'll get a good spin. Okay, fourth spin, here we go. All right, y'all, for the fourth spin, we have an 808. Boost it and then put a little bit of out knob on it. Like that that's a catchy 808 pattern okay okay all right so this is our fifth spin right here looks like we're gonna get okay we're gonna get clap I thought that was our fifth spin clap
Okay, now we're going on to our sixth spin. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I think I might raise the amount of spins that I'm gonna be doing to like 15 or something. Because we got two freaking restarts. But... Uh... Okay. Alright, alright. You know what? I'm actually gonna get this. This is more of a base pluck, but it's an 808 in my kit. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. That was our sixth spin. Now we're going on to our seventh spin. Please, can, can I just get a melody? Can I just... Let's go! This is perfect. Because now, as long as we don't get restart or some other bullshit, we can actually make an actual beat. I think so far that with the 808s and the clap and everything, I think I should go for like more of a dark beat kind of vibe. <laughs> So I have this melody right here. I'm going to route it to channel one and then I'm going to add some halftime to it. All right, shit. What was that? Our seventh spin? Our sixth spin? But at least we have a melody, an 808, and a clap down. That's somewhat of a beat. So, seventh spin right here. Okay, okay. Snare, perfect. I can, I can totally add a snare. these ones down and then lower the velocity down too all right those are seven now we're going on to our eighth spin so far the beat is coming to get okay so far the let's fucking go okay so with this free choice i'm thinking either hi-hats or melody this is a tough dilemma because i could add an hi-hat and make it like a pretty complete beat or I can add another melody to make it sound more interesting because the melody that I have now, it's not that great. So I think I'm just gonna fucking risk it and just go with another melody. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to addictive keys and I wanna get like a piano down as like a solid main melody. Let's not go to Studio Grand, but let's go to Mr. Bright. I like that right there. So we got that piano down. That is way, way, way better. So I'm going to go Alt R with the piano just to make it sound a little bit more realistic. And I'm just going to transpose it up like three semitones. So I don't know what happened, but some of the things got deleted somehow. I don't know how, but it happened. I think those were all of them. Now, this is the part where it gets the most nerve-wracking because everything can f*** up if I get a restart. If I get a restart, I'm going to lose my sh**. Eighth spin. I'll take another snare. I will take another spa a snare any day. It's a snare right there. We literally have two more, our ninth one and our tenth one. 
it's leaning towards not getting restart, but it's also very possible, as we can see that it happened two times in a row. But once I get a hi hat, then I'm literally set. Ninth, ninth spin. for our final goddamn spin. I'm, I'm just the most scared of restart, but any other runs, like, I think I'll be fine with. I really hope I don't get restart. All right, 10th spin, here we go. Come on, keep going. <laughs> and our last sound was a perk. But, you know me, clever and all that, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find a perk that sounds like a hi-hat or I'm gonna get a perk and morph it into a hi-hat and just use it as a hi-hat. <laughs> Maybe something. All right, so I morphed this tambourine into a hi-hat. It actually sounds all right. Bada boom y'all that wraps up the beat making a beat using the spin the wheel challenge was a success thank you if you watch this video all the way to the end i very much appreciate it let me know if you guys have any other ideas of challenges that you want me to do down below in the comments make sure y'all go check out my till channel that i was talking about in the intro but that's gonna wrap it up for me y'all i'll catch y'all in the next video but until then i'm out play that back loose it